Hey Feather Fam, it's me Elle and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another training tutorial and this time I'm going to be showing you guys my budgie Violet who has learned to high five. High five is a really cool trick, it's one of my favorites now and there's actually kind of two versions of the high five that you may have seen before. One of them is where the bird is perched and they just put their foot up to your hand and it's taught in a similar way to the wave. And then the one I'm going to be showing you guys how to teach your bird today is going to be the flighted high five where the bird flies to your hand, bounces off, and then flies back to the perch. Yes, Nemo. But before we get into today's video, this video is sponsored by Native. So if you guys don't know, Violet is my budgie who was found outside, and I'm just really happy that she learned this trick because she's just typically a little bit more skittish due to her unknown past. And it just goes to show that any bird can be trained, any bird can learn tricks. It's all just about your individual bird and which tricks suit them and which tricks they're willing to do. Hello, crow. Good bird. Nemo. Nemo! Alright guys, so let's get into it. I'm going to show you guys how I trained my budgie Violet to high five. Before teaching your bird a high five, your bird should already be recall trained. So really the basis for teaching this trick is that your bird already knows recall and you have your hand up in a vertical position instead of a normally horizontal one. And the point of the high five trick is that your bird actually bounces off of your hand instead of landing on it like they would with a recall. All the budgies are trying to compete for millet right now. This video is sponsored by Native, a cool brand of personal care products, including body wash, toothpaste, and deodorant. Native products are vegan and cruelty-free, never tested on animals. They have a variety of amazing scents. The three scents I ordered are lavender and rose, eucalyptus and mint, and sweet peach and nectar. The lavender and rose is flowery and fresh. Mmm. Smells like a summer garden. Here I have the eucalyptus and mint. Mmm, smells very clean and minty. And last I've got the sweet peach and nectar. Mmm, this one's gotta be my favorite. It smells like a peach pie. Their deodorants are all aluminum, paraben, and sulfate free. They're made of familiar and simple ingredients like coconut oil and shea butter. Native deodorants are non-sticky, dry quickly, and stay all day with 24 hour odor protection, even after a full day of moving around. Native also offers a plastic free version of their collection deodorant using the same formula with more sustainable packaging. Native also has more to offer. They have amazing body washes and toothpaste. I got a ginger and lemonade cupcake scented body wash from their limited edition cupcake inspired collection from Baked by Melissa. These limited edition scents change all the time. Native is currently running a special promotion. Three deodorants would be $39, but if you use my link and code LBIRDS2, you'll get them for $26. That's over 33% off. With my code, you'll also get 20% off any body wash or toothpaste. Now the way you teach your bird to bounce off of your hand is simply by putting your hand in this vertical position and not allowing your bird to land. So your bird can't land if your hand is in a completely vertical position. So really what I'm trying to do is put the millet behind my hand. So the bird will try to get to the millet, but then since your hand is vertical, they'll kind of slip and you don't want to let them land on your hand. So eventually they'll just kind of go back to their perch naturally. So Pearl is a bird that hasn't learned this trick. Um, Pearl knows recall. But I'm going to try and show you guys how I taught Violet by also demonstrating with Pearl, who doesn't know the trick yet. So I'm going to put my hand vertically and then also put the millet behind this hand and then keep this hand here, like a finger, like I would use to recall Pearl. And then I'm going to use the cue Pearl come, so she just gets used to coming to my vertical hand. Pearl come. So yes, she is going to be landing on my finger, but we're going to phase that out. Proka! Then you can see she already did the kind of tapping motion on my hand. She just didn't go back to that perch, but that's already a pretty big step. Proka! That was pretty good. 
So the trick is really just not letting your bird land on your hand. High five. Good bird. So she did land on my hand for a second there, but then she went back to her perch, which is exactly what we want. And what you want to do is get it to the point where the bird just bounces off your hand right away and then goes back. High five. Good bird. So I've been using the pearl come cue to demonstrate because that's what she recognizes and that's what will prompt her to come. But eventually you just want to start saying high five so your bird doesn't confuse the two tricks. High five. High five. Good bird, good bird. So really any way you can kind of shape that behavior of your bird flying to your vertical hand and then bouncing off will work. So it could be putting the millet behind your hand like what I did. It could be just recalling your bird in front of your hand. It could also be doing a recall with a horizontal hand and then slowly shifting that to a vertical hand. Like I've seen people do this and then start tilting your hand more and more until it's vertical. So Violet just kind of from the upfront knew that she couldn't really land on my hand when it was like this. So she would kind of attempt to get the millet and then fly right back to the perch. Once Violet got the concept, one problem that I started to have was that she would pretty much just fly and then go back to the cage, but then wouldn't actually touch my hand at all. Another way I worked through this was simply just only rewarding her when she would do it correctly by flying up and actually touching my hand, making that contact, and then flying back to the perch. High five! See, that was an example of when she didn't make contact. So I didn't reward her for that one, and we're just gonna keep trying again until she gets it right, and then only then, after she does it right, is when I reward her. So if she doesn't want to do it right away, sometimes she will hesitate. I simply encourage her by pointing my finger and doing this kind of motion and wiggling the millet. And as you can see, I again had the problem where she did not make contact with my hand. So I try again. High five. High five. She got distracted. High five. Good bird. Good bird. So here's Pearl again. And Pearl did land on my finger and not my hand, but she did the right motion. Pearl, high five. Very good. Pearl did it completely on her own. That is exactly how you shape that behavior. High five. Very good bird, Pearl. The bird. Pearl, high five. Good bird. It is a little bit inconvenient training two birds at once, but actually what you'll find is that they learn a lot from watching each other. So even though they struggle for the millet, they will get a lot of benefit out of watching another bird perform the same trick. Good bird. Oh, high five. High five. High five. Good bird. High five. Oh, high five. Good bird. So what you want to do is just keep repeating it until you can completely phase out this little cueing motion this one and actually just use one hand and say high five. Eventually the bird will just start to grasp what you're asking them to do and you won't need to do it by luring them. They won't need to see that millet behind your hand and they won't need this little motion pointing to your hand. It's just the same way as when you're recall training a bird. You at first keep the millet on the side of your hand so they see it and want to come for the millet, but eventually you can just call your bird over. By the come. Good bird. High five! Good bird. So that's what you want your final cue to be, saying high five and putting your hand up.
High five. Very good. Oh, once you can do this, high five. Good bird. Your bird has officially learned the high five trick. watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram and tiktok check out my website ellenthebirds.com for my l's avian essentials kits and i will see you guys in my next video